escape me. Okay, before we get started, I want to address the fact that this is something that's very basic. Okay, this is like back to the principles of PvP, and I want to go over some very basic things um, to like start off this tutorial series that I'm going to be, you know, releasing on this channel. Um, but the thing is, is that for all of you advanced players out there, people that have been playing for eight to 10 years, this video is probably going to sound very, very simple to you. And it is, but there's a lot of people out there and a lot of people that are watching this channel that are uh, like either new to the game, they just came back or they've never tried PVP before. And I want to at least take the time to explain the basics before I start jumping into the advanced stuff that'll come like a little bit later this week and later this month for sure. All right, so now that I got that out of the way, uh, the very first thing that I would like to talk about for a basic tutorial is actually going to be about CC or crowd control. Um, and just to define crowd control real quick for everybody that does not know, uh, crowd control is an ability like polymorph or a stun or a root or a slow or I don't know, a disorient, a blind, a fear. Like there's so many abilities out there that actually make it so you cannot control your character. And that's what CC is. But CC, um, in my opinion, is probably the most important factor for arena, a like competitive arena, um, aside from just like the obvious uh, damage and healing, right? Like that's, that's pretty obvious. But um, with CC, I feel that a lot of players out there don't quite understand the proper times to CC or like what CCing at the wrong time, you know, like what the consequences of, of that is, but also being able to land CC at the right time can actually land you kills properly because you're able to take away the ability to control one player um, or like one player has lost his ability to control his character and then you know you have like a situation where you can be uh, like two players versus one player because the other enemy is CC'd right so if that makes sense um, but be sure to follow with me here because this is something that I do want to explain um, and is very important for somebody who's trying to get better at PvP in general, okay? Um, before we get started, I want to talk a little bit about the Gladius add-on, which you can download online. Just Google, like, Gladius World of Warcraft add-on. You can find it pretty much anywhere. Um, and as you can see, it's right here on the right-hand side of my screen. Um, so Gladius, what it does is it tracks the arena frames, but it also tracks something called DRs. And I want to explain DRs really quick because, again, if they are basic, but it's kind of, it's not properly explained in so many tutorials out there. So I do want to explain it a little bit. Um, so DRs, as you can see, if I were if I were to polymorph uh, this demon hunter right here, Dubadius, um, as you can see, like he's polymorphed for eight seconds, cool. Um, but when this runs out, Gladius is actually going to track the diminishing return on this target. So as you can see, there's an 18 second timer here. And then there's a little one half fraction because that means that in this timer, see how it's counting down? If I polymorph him again before that timer runs out, then it, the polymorph actually is only half because you see how the, the little fraction says half and then again, it goes to one fourth. And as you can see, if I polymorph him again before that timer goes down, then it's only a two second polymorph, right? So how that works is there is, uh, like there's CC, there's different types of diminishing returns. My This one polymorph is on the disorient return, I think. I think that's correct, or the incapacitate return. Um, so the incapacitate diminishing return means that stuff like polymorph, uh, oh god, <laughs> the, my mind's totally drawing a blank here. Um, oh, uh, like paralysis from the monks, and I mean, there's like a bunch of things that are in different schools of diminishing returns, like fear and polymorph are actually on separate diminishing returns. So if you were to polymorph someone for eight seconds and then you were to have a warlock fear that same target, that fear would still be eight seconds, if that makes sense. And you can actually Google like diminishing return um, topics and you can find lists out there on the official World of Warcraft site uh, that kind of explains like where the diminishing returns are, like which abilities are in the same school and which ones are different. Um, and that, you, you know, those CC type of things actually do shape like what comps are good in arena. Um, because obviously if you have a variety of different uh, DR return or DR schools, then you're not going to have to worry about all of the um, all of them overlapping and you get like less CC. OK, um, so again, guys, I do want to I do really want you to understand this concept of diminishing returns for everyone who does not know if I sheep this person, I cannot sheep them again um, for full duration until this timer, this 18 second timer runs out and Gladius helps track that. So be sure to get this add on if you don't have it already or if you want to do it like uh, from a hard point, whatever. Okay, so now I wanna talk about CC in general because if you CC a target and say you, uh, like you polymorph somebody for example, and then 
Um, like the target that you're trying to kill maybe uses some defensive cooldowns. His health doesn't go down very far. He's at 80% and that first polymorph runs out. You can continue to put those sheeps out or you can actually decide that you're going to wait until the next DR comes up, which is like super common to hear in high level PVP is that you wait um, to see, like for those DR cooldowns to go again, like to, to like refresh and then you will again try to kill that target because um, you know how World of Warcraft PvP works in general is that there's like a set amount of defensive cooldowns that every player will have um, depending on their class and then uh, what you're going to want to do is you're going to like crowd control the healer so as you can see like if I were to crowd control the healer and then use a you know my damage on this demon hunter here but he decides to pop blur and metamorphosis and start healing up um, like I can get this sheep off right and it's half duration but if this guy is you know still healing up from his defensive cooldowns I'm not going to be able to kill him. Um, so what you're going to want to do, and this is common in like mage rogue stuff, which I'll show you in a moment. Um, but what you're want to, you, what you're going to want to do is actually wait for this timer right here to run out again. And as you can see at the end of this timer, I'm going to polymorph the druid again, and it's going to be full duration. And then, um, hypothetically speaking, the demon hunter would not have any more defensives. Um, the healer is CC'd for that full duration again, and then you can kind of make that work. Okay. So as you can see, like I can sheep him again now that the timer's down, and then if this guy doesn't have any defensive cooldowns, he would probably die in like a more typical high level arena situation. Okay. Um, you know, I do want to talk a little bit about CC chains. So for those who don't know what a CC chain is, basically it means when all of those DRs are refreshed, they're all good to go. Um, you know, there's no like half duration or anything for polymorphs. Um, for example, like if I have a rogue friend next to me and he's my teammate, then he would like cheap shot the druid and then say that, you know, hypothetically speaking, the druid's cheap shotted and then I polymorph him right before that cheap shot ends. Okay. And then as you can see, this polymorph is taken down. I'm doing damage to the demon hunter. The polymorph said about two seconds and then I polymorph him again. So, you know, there's no chance that he can cast any spells and then you polymorph him again. Um, and then that's like a CC chain. So what you're supposed to do is obviously like... Um, from a mage standpoint, you would polymorph somebody, it would get down to that two second debuff duration, like two seconds left on that first polymorph, and then you would start casting the second polymorph so that that first polymorph and any CC in general does not end before you have that next CC on the way. Um, so you are trying to lock out a person from using their character for the longest amount of time possible. And this is going to be very common in arena comps like Mage Rogue, um like i don't even know like rmd is pretty much like the staple for this type of gameplay where you just try to cc a healer forever and kill someone in that 2v3 or you know 1v3 situation um because you know with arena comps where you are more reliant on cc you have to get those cc chains in order to land kills otherwise you're not going to have enough damage in order to kill somebody whereas if you're playing something like i don't know um affliction warlock moonkin resto shaman for example you know like the goal of that comp is to kill everything and do a huge amount of aoe damage and like dot every target and make all of their health bars go down but uh, with a comp like rmd or rmp uh, rogue mage priest all that stuff like you what you're really focused on is like landing a lot of cc on a target like a healer and then killing another target with a short amount of time and like a lot of burst damage so I just want to at least get that get that clear across. I know that this is kind of a weird concept for all you new players out there, um, but this is something that will come with experience. And I, I do recommend that you pay attention to like when you're CCing and make sure that when you are using your CC like a polymorph on a healer, that you have damage ready to go for that next for that like demon hunter for that kill target that you're you're looking to kill. Um, so again, guys, I know that this is basic, but I do want to jump into some mage rogue games where I do demonstrate this type, this like style of play, um, for you to see in action. And I actually have a special surprise for you after the arena. So be sure to stay tuned, but let's get into it. And I can't look the other way. I'm chasing starlight to find a start away.
As you can see, I killed the Demon Hunter, but welcome back. I do have a quick surprise for you. I'm going to be giving away two of these headsets this week on my website, cartoons.tv. The first link in the description of this video, so be sure to click on that. Go enter for the giveaway so you can win two of these awesome $200 headsets that are available for a pretty hefty bargain of only $50. Um, it's HyperX's brand new headset, and I'm giving away two on my website, so be sure to go check that out. But thank you so much for watching. I will be doing more of these guides on my YouTube channel and also on my website um, through the form of class guides. 
uh, which are like available on my website now. So be sure to go check that out. Uh, be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you have not already for those future videos. And I will see you all in the next one. Thanks for watching.